So I want to talk about how we can use semiconductors to make two devices that you'll find everywhere around you, solar photovoltaics and LEDs. Both of these devices use what's called a PN junction. A PN junction is made by layering a P-type material and an N-type material together. At the junction, the extra electrons on the N side, here they are, extra electrons, they uh, want to diffuse over to the holes on the P side. So they're going to diffuse over to the P side. And the result of that is that current flow stops because we end up with some negative charges, some anions on the P side, and some positive charges on the N side, resulting from where we lost all of these electrons. And so that results in what we call the depletion region here in the middle. And so now uh, no, move, no movement of electrons happens uh, because the electrons on the n-type side are repelled by those anions that form on the p-type side. If we attach our p-n junction to a power source like a battery, and that's indicated by the plus and the minus, um, we can apply forward bias to force electrons to move through our conductor. In this case, the positive terminal attached to the P side acts like a source of holes. So those holes migrate over to the N side, and the negative terminal acts like a source of electrons. So those electrons come from that they migrate over to meet up with the holes on the P side. And so if we think of the current as the moving electrons, uh, this keeps the current flowing across the PN junction as the holes try to get to the anode and the electrodes, electrons try to get to the cathode. This is different from the, the non-biased one, the, one, the first one, um, because the, the positive side and the negative side keep those charges moving. They counter the negative charges that build up on the P side with new holes from the positive terminal, and they counter the positive charges that build up on the N side with new electrons. If we reverse the positive and negative terminals, we get what's called reverse bias. So in this case, the holes flow away from the junction toward the negative terminal, and the electrons flow away from the junction toward the positive terminal. And what we end up with is an even larger depletion region and no current flows through the material. So in this way, a PN junction can be used to make a diode, a device through which current flows only one direction. And we'll see that we can use those diode properties in order to make light emitting diodes and solar panels.